how I became the best Final Fantasy player. As I said, I've watched uh, Pint videos many, many times. He used to make WoW videos, uh, the uh, the Mage. They were actually really good. I, I, I like the Pint videos a lot. So uh, we're going to see exactly what's going on here. All right, let's watch it. Here's the thing with Final Fantasy. It lets you play however you darn want. Look at this guy. During the day, he's like, You fake you don't fake you don't you don't you don't you Oh, but at night, he's like... Aww. There are many things to do in this game, but I am the best at all of them. But today, I will attempt my hardest challenge yet. I will talk to other people and meet every kind of Final Fantasy player. I feel like I made a lot of friends in Final Fantasy. Like, whenever I think about, like, I, I probably made more friends in Final Fantasy for the time that I played it a lot on stream. I probably made more friends there than I did in, like, the entire expansion of WoW. The most recent one. Probably the, pa the past two expansions. Oh, look, it's our first subject. Who look at it? him, just fucking standing there. You can just assume it's a this guy. This is a sprout. So fresh. So malleable. Oh, they are cute. They're dangerous. And who knows where they'll be a year from now. Still a sprout, if it's me. Oh. But sprouts are the lifeblood of this game. Players worship them like a sacred animal. And for what? Just because they are new? See, I don't know why WoW didn't do this too. And they actually have it, but you can only see if there are new players in the game. If there are, if you, if you're in the mentor program, because if you're not in a mentor program, you don't even see this. I feel like, cause there's like a little baby Murloc instead of the sprout icon. They should just make that visible to everybody. Should Despite be global, the yeah. chaos that sprouts may bring, players believe that treating a sprout well is the only way for the game to grow. So you have to get sprouts hooked make it so True. they won't and can't leave and then maybe they'll treat others well and the wholesome circle of life will be complete while you get to watch gather round i remember there was this one kid that joined my icc raids and like my cataclysm raids and he was new to the game and he was basically a sprout and i taught him how to ninja loot uh, I was like, yeah, so bro, like, this is how it works, like, ba so you have to tell them, like, just like, you can't tell them the loot rules, like, yeah, I taught him how to do it, and I remember, like, one time he messaged me, and he linked me a mount, he's like, I did just what you said, man, I got it, I got the mount, I just took it from him, like, you got it, are they mad? He's like, yeah, they're mad, but fuck them, I got the mount, and I'm like, did you learn it already? He's like, yes, man, I'm on it right now, he was so happy. This is the best part of Sprouts. You can absorb the second-hand feeling of what it's like to be young again, when everything was new in those bygone days. That's why I think people you became like the... old and repulsive. Yeah. But people on the like bright the side, there is plenty of fresh meat to siphon. But perhaps I am being a bit harsh on Sprouts. I myself am new here. Yes, I have been a Sprout for 11 months. That's not a joke, that's real. <laughs> we Sprouts have a way of Wait, how the fuck can you be a sprout for 11 months? Because I thought that after you finished finished Heaven's Ward and you started Stormblood and or if you had over 300 hours in the game, it went away. This was my understanding. How the fuck? You have to finish Endwalker? It's after you finish Stormblood. Well, how did he spend playing 11 months? He hadn't even put 300 hours into the game? What the hell is he doing? He's probably editing the videos, but yeah, it's still. Spreading joy. We are so full of overwhelming optimism. So enchanted by the new experience of running Praetorium. <laughs> Looking up I to endgame players as if they're icons or deities. Wow, that's so cool. How do you get that armor? Wow. 
I hope I can be like that someday. Aww. Oh, oh my no. god, he thinks my armor is cool. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's why people like Sprout so much. Yeah. Through a Sprout, one can see the world with a fresh, positive eye. Through a Sprout, one can relive their favorite moments. That was the best the best shit, man. Like, whenever you would get inspected back in WoW before they changed, like, invite and inspect used to be next to each other. And, like, whenever you see some nub invite you to a group, you just decline. He's like, sorry, I meant to inspect you. It's like, I know. Yeah, I know. It's okay. You could see that favorite character fucking die. And after all, Sprouts need your help. Hey, have you done this before? No. Have you? No. <laughs> but before you go rushing to help, be warned. There is a dark side to certain sprouts. Okay, listen, you have to watch this cutscene. Hey, hey, no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 <laughs> Bro, it, it's... It's so funny, like, there's part of the Final Fantasy community. They're like, you can play any way you want. As long as it's one of the ways that we think is okay. So, if you boost your character, if you do any of this other shit, if you don't play the story, if you don't give a shit about the cutscenes, uh-uh, nope. You can play however you want, except like this. That's the one thing you can't fucking do. They get so mad if you skip, yeah. They get mad. The thing is, like, I, I feel like I made a very good decision whenever I played the game to not skip the story and actually just play through the whole game. It, it, it's been fun. Like, it, it's actually been enjoyable to go through everything, and I think the narrative is, uh, it's better than I had expected. Uh, I just love the story so much, and he's missing all of it. Oh, yep. he may not care now, but he doesn't know what he he's will. missing. In Heaven's Ward. Wait, why do you even care so much? Most other games would neglect their stories, treating them as afterthoughts to the gameplay. But in Final Fantasy... 14. The story is the game. Notions of rushing to the end are gone. Content you would usually overlook now has purpose and... value. Content you would usually overlook now has pu- So we haven't- I guess we just haven't been to this boss yet. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should- I, I think I might play the game again. Purpose and value. Yeah, it seems like a good there idea. There's so much optional side content that I usually wouldn't give a fuck about. But because of the story, my fucks are plentiful. But the story is more than just the words on a screen or the pages in a book. Mother Heidelin's It's the, the world, the music, the friends you make along the way that all combine like a beautiful symphony. And that is the most important part. Because what good is a story experienced alone? So this fucking thing is my best friend. Nanamo. 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 Me and Nanamo go way back. I just feel I will have to say that one of my favorite parts of the story One of my favorites was whenever the girl um, what was her name? Uh, uh, fucking Lydia Like did a back of like a fucking 360 roundhouse kick and like kick that little fucking uh, that little cabbage into the wall That was the funniest fucking thing then, uh, uh, yeah, Olivia, yeah, Olivia Vondrius, yeah, it, uh, it was Lydia or Olivia, yeah. A and then the other one was obviously whenever Raubon put her up on a, on a, on his fucking arm like a parrot, man. That shit was hilarious. Like, she doesn't love me anymore, man. <sighs> Alright, Nanimo, you've had way too much to drink. Oh, warrior of light, where would I be without you? And where would I be without you, Nanimo? I vow to save every person, place, and thing in Eorzea. Warrior of Light, <laughs> we, we need your help. Please, lend us your- I still hate Lalafels. Oh, 
full strength. I still do. Oh, yep. warrior of light, you've returned. And who's this fellow you've brought along? Don't worry, Alphano. I've got this covered. Me and Alphano here have saved the world together. And over that time, we have not only grown as friends, but as individuals. We've laughed together, we've... We've cried together. And we've grown from brazen young adventurers into true heroes of the realm. And only in a game with a 600 hour story can you really feel that attached. Isn't that right, Alphano? Uh... This is Tatari. Oh, that's a girl, Alphano. Dude, it's been seven months since the last video. We're out of money. It's my creative process. You can't rush art. Okay, well, let me be frank. I've got... Wait, so they're kids? Uh, I think in the lore they're like 17, like 16 or 17. Which is like, were they 16 or 17 at the start or the end? I have no fucking idea. If you're asking that question, why? You know what I mean? Like, why? What is it? Why is this? Is this important to you? The IRS on my ass, so can we at least tell the viewers this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? Is it really? The IRS? Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, sure. I, I, what, like, what would I say, though? I don't know. Talk about how they could level up 600 unique champions. 600? Damn. Yep, one for every thousand I owe the government. I even have a personal assistant just to level up my favorite champion. Please, can I have a break? No! We need to get this done! They're on their way! <laughs> Classic Tataru. That sounds great, but can you Why give me- Why do they, uh, like... I really wish that I could talk to the Raid Shadow Legends marketing team and just give them my insight because, like, I feel like their ads are too formulaic. Like, just randomly, like, just give them, like, a clip or something like that of some big titty orc girl like, I, I don't know, like, crushing coconuts with her thighs. And put that in, and every fucking simp that plays Final Fantasy will download the game. I feel like, yeah, these guys don't- they don't know how to actually market the game. Yeah, Asmon's formula? Well, look! It works, man! That's yeah, so like pathetic. three reasons I should play a raid. Number one, it works. you can play it anywhere, anytime. I'm sold, let's do it, yes. Number two, the champions look great. Their outfits are so inspiring. Uh-huh. And three, it keeps my mind off things. Like what? Taxes, usually. And there's a crazy Halloween event going on right now, where you can win a bunch of in-game and real-life prizes, including a $1,000 Amazon gift card and legendary Halloween champions. Atari, Atari. This is the IRS. We need you to come outside. Oh, God. Now. <laughs> I'll be right back. Wow, I can get all that by installing Raid and going to trickortreat.plarium.com? But only new players can win a prize. And if you haven't downloaded it yet, click the link in the description below. Or scan the QR code. And they I'll should actually do that. Like, send people out really cool t-shirts and stuff. It's like, if you, if you get to a certain point in the game where, like, it's obvious that you spent $5,000... They should send you a t-shirt. A hundred percent, they should send you a fucking t-shirt. Because, like, that way at least you get something out of it, you know? Get bonuses worth $30? We're talking 200k silver, an energy refill, an XP boost, one ancient shard, and a free epic champion, Vergus. And I'll find my rewards here. Wow. Hey, um, Pint, we gotta get out of here, man. Open the door, Tataru. Thank you, quick. End the ad. You're not going anywhere. No! <laughs> ad over. This is Kryl, and okay. I would sacrifice every single one of you for her. She's great. Hold I on, hold on. Wouldn't telling me about Kryl be a spoiler? But I like Kryl. Me? Spoil something? Oh, I regret to inform you that it gets even worse. There's a much more dangerous quality a character can have besides just being likable. Being sexy. When a sexy character is at play, people start losing their minds. They hold no regard for the spoilers that might come. Nothing is more dangerous than Graha Tears Belly Button. Or worse, Emmett Selk's feet. But don't think about I feel like that's what they did with Moon Burrito. Like she was the hottest character. And then it was over.
It was literally that's yeah. It's like it, it it was like over in a snap. Like what the fuck? About such heinous things, this journey was made for you. You don't play as Cloud Strife or Jane Automata. You are Pepsi Crumpy Chat. A story, an experience, a world built for you to be at the center of it all. Um. So what happens when you like finish the story? finish the story <laughs> well what happens is you make a video about all the reasons why you quit final fantasy and then you go to new world obviously yeah we we know how to do that we've seen two videos on this already what's happening no 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 this, i'm not ready this can't be it i'm, I'm not ready this can't be it no 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 please to be continued please. This can't be it. I can't put it. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. That sucks. Anyway. Pussy. Attention! All you maggots are here today for one thing and one thing only. To raid Melee. Yeah, exactly. You are on Monk. And don't even think about To raid Melee. You are on Monk. This is an outfit in the game? Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, this girl looks like a backup dancer from like a Marilyn Manson movie, uh, music video. What the fuck? Uh, I, really? And don't even think about wow. playing Summoner. Good, yes, yeah. <laughs> you must be the new recruit. What are you from, Crystal? I bet you don't even have a purple class. What? Oh, you'll do great. All right, team. This is it. Tank stance. On. Healers, did you watch the guide? What? Ready! <laughs> Charge! Six months. That's how long we've been here. We've lost many along the way, and we've faced countless ways. This is the first one that I did on extreme. Here, we, I remember this very well. We did not concede. Rise, my wolves! Crimson is the field! Hardened our flesh! Stand sort of for glory, glory! And fight for victory! Okay, Voke this. Alright, and Feathering coming up. It's right on top of me, isn't it? I feel, gonna like, raid. I feel like we beat that one pretty fast. All things considered, that boss got its ass beat. Like, we beat it in like two or three hours. It's no big deal. Eight people means that it's not just about you. It's about us. It's about playing as a team, no matter how that many times cool. Haru Hisatsu from the Aether Data Center sits in a fucking mechanic to do 2% more damage! It's up to you to figure out how to make it work between you all. Which means them. your success is determined by how everyone else performs. So if you want to do well, you have to not only perform the best you can, but help others too. See Haru? You do much more damage when you're alive. Keeping your morale high is essential. Bossing people around or getting upset is going to do far more damage to your raid than Feather Mommy over here. It's yeah, I've always believed that. It's like, but there is a certain point, I feel like, especially in WoW raiding, where like, sometimes as a raid leader, you have to get mad. Because if you're not getting mad, the team won't feel like you're on their side. They'll feel like you're like, you're different than they are. It's our duty to smile and yeah, say, it's like a, It is what it is. Sword Go Catharsis. And that's the kind of raider you want to be. There's this stereotype that raiders can only be meanie weenies. But you are just here for your own ego. To think that you're better than the others. <laughs> you I've might never had in a group... Like, because I, I queued a bunch of the random uh, dungeon trials and shit and, like, raid trials. I never had people mauled. Like, there was, like, maybe one time somebody wasn't happy about something, but other than that, nobody really gave a fuck. I think the reason why is because you only had to do it, like, once or twice, 
and everybody isn't on like some tight time trial. So like in WoW, it takes you forever to get there. You have to run back if you die. You lose consumables. You have to repair, get your food buff again. So it's really fucking annoying if you die. And Lost Ark, you've got to run Vaulton on seven different characters. So if somebody gets knocked off the edge uh, on one character, now you've got to fucking plan out the next four hours of your life completely differently. But with Final Fantasy, most people play one guy and or one character and it's not as big of an issue because they don't feel like they're as pressed for time that's why it happens people don't get mad to be but that gives you no right to be rude i would never insult my white mage for i have stood where he has stood you don't raid to hear the roar of your team as the boss hits the floor. Oh to see that achievement pop up on your screen. To take screenshots of you and your companions. That is why I raid. And it has absolutely nothing to do with my ego. My fucking weapon. Isn't that the easiest one? Yeah, is, isn't that, that, that that's the easiest one to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. That's right. I, Pint Frumpy Rat, yeah. have killed an ultimate. You will only address me as the ultimate legend from now on. I have the weapon, I have the title, but I have no purpose. At first, There's like the three other ones were to nice. Do. Then I started to care about my damage, and even that was fleeting. Day by day, everything becoming more mundane. I wish I could go back and just play to have fun. Whoa! Yeah! Us role players are the s One of the worst things about the, uh, the, the, the bunny girls is sometimes whenever I look at them, I cannot immediately tell if it's a girl or a guy. Because they're basically the same thing. Let's be honest, it's a guy? Yeah, I know. I was thinking for a second, is that a girl? Wait, never mind. No, it's not. The latest of all players. While most people are scared of social interaction, we do it daily for fun. You should come clubbing with us tonight. You could get some bitches, and then I think there's a cat boy I hop down the road. Babes, you're like totally forgetting the fashion contest. Oh my See, God. I don't, this is the thing, right? Like, does Mark Zuckerberg know about this? Like, he's, again, like, he's trying to do, like, the metaverse has as much charisma as the, uh, the Wii main menu. I don't understand why you don't just do exactly what this game does. This is what people want to see. This is why people want to get on the metaverse, okay? I, I don't, I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. God, this guy would win for sure. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, no, he wouldn't win. Look at me. I'm radiant, immaculate, pristine. You are scum. People think role players are just casuals with extra steps. But some of us prefer to take it more seriously. Bitch, you stole my outfit. So you play through the entire game just to stand there and show off your outfit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you find that fun? That's the whole reason you play the game, is to get good gear and show everybody else that you have it. How is this even a fucking question? Yeah, look, I, don't I get understand. it. It looks kind of weird to an outsider. But we're just hanging out, you know, making friends, socializing. It's not like we're all perverts or anything. That's just Barry. Barry fucks. There's parties which are way better than real life, because if the music's too loud and you're kind of drunk, you can just teleport out instead of your friends begging you not to drive again. <laughs> and casinos, where instead of losing all of your money, you lose all of your money. There's even yeah. entire theater shows. Heck, there's a yearly in-game convention hosted by players. This I thought this was the coolest shit. The fact that people can go on this game, like, I feel like New World needs to do this. Where, like, they'll add in the, uh, oh, fuck, what's it called? The, um, I I'm, like, drawing a blank on this shit. Uh, they'll add in being able to make your own songs. Because I feel like watching, like, one of those bard bands in Final Fantasy is so fucking cool. 
And I, it's just, it's so nice. It's so nice. I wish they would do more of those things. Community is good. Uh huh. Yeah, you need to have and RP what potential. what community do those guys have? Uh, you don't want to know. Look at these cat girls. They're taking pictures right now. I wonder what kind of pictures they're taking. Bro, what? the other day, I was on I was on the Twitter, okay? And I saw a like you know how they have the recommended trends for you? One of the recommended trends for me was hashtag G poser not safe for work. NSFW. Um <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. Like, what the fuck? Like, and and there are people that play Final Fantasy, and the main thing they do is they just go around taking screenshots of each other. I actually didn't click on it. No, I didn't. Uh, this is my. It was on my streaming PC, and I don't click on anything that is um, potentially uh, bad for me to show on stream on my streaming PC. So I actually did not click on it. However, if it was on my phone, yeah, I totally would have. Wait, what is the carbuncle for? As Shane Dawson. So it's just clothes. That's your end game. Well, that's definitely part of it, but there's other things that's like the main AFKing thing. or housing. I built this kitchen all by myself. It only took me three weeks, and it wasn't that expensive. Where did all of our money go? Here's a fun fact. This drawer is actually 16 cups, just kind of fucking wedged together. If our friends need something, I rest well knowing I can make it. A maid cafe, a theater, I even made a fucking Denny's. There are people in this game that are paid as, like, room makers and house makers. Like, they pay somebody just to decorate the house. Some guy, it's like, imagine, like, think of this meta. It's like, before uh, fucking Inwalker came out and they had this lottery thing, you would sit there with a bunch of fucking money, day after day, night after night, next to, like, a mailbox or something, waiting for a house to go up on sale. And then the second that it goes up on sale, you instantly drop all of your fucking money on it. And then finally, after doing that for a month, you then pay somebody else to decorate the house for you. Holy fuck, man. Sounds like real life, yeah. I love picking up new hobbies. I've been getting really into crafting, and I know oh, that good. sounds mundane, but it's actually really rewarding, and it's something new. Goodbye, Moogles. See you tomorrow. I fucking hate those guys, holy shit. But if there's one thing that truly holds my passion, it's fashion. It's oh. my creative outlet. I venture into all kinds of content just for the glamour I want. It gives me a reason to try everything. Oh, looks like I need a PvP for this one. Ugh, what a waste of time. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Here, what do you think? Uh, well, do you like it? Hmm. You know I what the worst thing for me is? Is the fact that I think one of the best Dark Knight sets is just the Heavensward, like, quest armor Dark Knight set. I think that's, like, the coolest one. It's, like, one of the best. I like that one a lot. Yeah, so it's like I pretty much already beat the game. I do look pretty fly yep. in red. Fuck it. Let's party. You know what? Can you imagine if they had proximity voice chat in Final Fantasy fourteen? I think they think they need to add that. Like that would be so fucking good. And, and, and you could have it, the thing is, you could have it turned off by default. And it's like, there would have to be like three settings. It, it would be like as hard to turn it on as it would be to buy the game. Like originally before they made it easier. You, you'd have to go to like a website, and then you'd have to go to like a Japanese website. You'd have to fucking Google translate it over to English, and then click a button, and then it's like a multiple choice thing, and then finally you can enable it, right? So that way you don't have like random normal people that accidentally turn this on. But like, 
Everybody else that goes through all those steps, if you gave them proximity voice chat in Final Fantasy XIV, I feel like the game's subscriber count would double. I feel like half the people, or like 20% of the people that were like really just like super vanilla players would be like, okay, this is too much for me. And then there'd be like half again more people that come back to the game. Voice mod subscriptions would double? Yeah, exactly. There's so much potential, man. Careful what you wish for. Every game needs proximity voice chat, okay? Every single one. You people are all right. Well, I'm glad you warmed up to us. Everyone has their own way of living, I guess. You look at things from a singular perspective. It limits your experiences. Things have become rather stale. But this has been a breath of fresh air. Trying something you don't know you'll enjoy is a bit of a risk. It can be scary or even feel unnecessary. But that uncertainty is dramatic and fun. And I think that's the thing. There are so many different ways to play this game, and it gives you so many opportunities to try new shit. It actively encourages you to go out and do things you haven't done, just for the joy of the experience. But it's not just that. I've met so many different kinds of people. They've shown me things I didn't even know existed. What does I've that grown mean? close to them and learned to enjoy things that they enjoy. Experiences I'd have never had if I didn't take that step out from the norm and see what the world has to offer. It matures you, not just in terms of gameplay variety, but as a person. And for that, I thank you all. I mean, to me, like, I played the game, I thought that shit was fun. Cause like, we did that one raid, remember that one raid where everybody died and then like, they all got res and shit? Like, that was crazy. Like, that shit was lit, man. Oh my god, that was crazy. That was so fucking good, man. On Ifrit? Yeah, I was on Ifrit. That was badass. For showing me so much. What's up, my grimbly bimblies? I'm gonna be playing Endwalker on Twitch, so follow me there. Also, Aww. the next video is not gonna take seven months. It's gonna take eight. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, every time that I hear a content creator that releases videos infrequently tell you that they're going to release videos more quickly, you can expect the next one next year. Yeah, that's basically it. So, like, if you have somebody that's uploading all the time, they upload once a week, it's like, ah, you can expect more videos recently. Yeah, maybe they'll probably do it. But, like, if they upload, like, maybe once, you know, every few months, like, they're, oh, the next one's going to be out really soon. Yeah, six months. Six months for sure. And that's going to be about it. Yeah, never put a timetable on anything. Yeah, we've watched a lot of Pint's videos. I remember Pint moved over to Final Fantasy at about the same time, uh, a little bit after I did, uh, I think. I don't remember exactly. It's, it was a while. And uh, he's been making videos for it a while. Like, he's stuck with the game a lot more than I had. And I think that also, like, I am a professional neat. I don't do anything. Every day I wake up and it's dark outside and it's great and all I do is sit around playing video games and I'm chilling man so I have enough time to play pretty much every single MMO like I'll play WoW I'll play uh, fucking New World Lost Ark etc I'll even play other games like Overwatch but like for a normal person this is not really possible to do Pine will ever go for another game Final Fantasy if you can play it uh, with the, the Twin Tails in? I don't know about that and uh, does the attic get hot in the summer? Yeah, it does. Not this, why this game is still the best raid con I've ever seen. The group he put together was perfect. Don, Sea Lion, the new bass, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit was fucking fun, man. Like, I'm just like, there was a lot of times. Like, I don't think that I will ever forget. Like, let me think some of the best times in Final Fantasy. Ah, uh, fuck. I remember whenever I got the Midgard Sormer mount. That was an Alisla. That was really cool with everybody in the circle. And then whenever I went to Heaven's Ward and everybody was lined up, I thought that was really fucking cool. And Bahamut, yeah, yeah. Like, there were a number of raids and, and everything like that. I'm trying to think what the other ones beside the raids are. Entrance to Heaven's Ward, yeah. Let's see. The Phoenix Mount? Yeah, the Phoenix Mount was really cool. I remember I, I got on the uh, on the mount outside of Ildeshire and I rode around on it. Because that was, like, the main mount that I had wanted whenever I started the game. 
Let's see, Ultima Bold. Yeah, like getting that, and then the first time that I got rid of one of the Chocobos and I didn't want to, uh, like, breed it, I, I sent it to, um, well, they, they you send it to, like, some different place, and they don't really tell you what happens with it, but then somewhere else in the Golden Saucer, they sell, like, Chocobo hamburgers. So, like, I mean, look, I, I mean, that's kind of, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of fucked up, right? <laughs> but it is what it is. And, and like, there was that. That one was really good. And let me think, what else was there? I remember whenever I bought the 2,000, or sorry, the 2 million gold mount, the uh, fucking cactus mount. I was really happy about that. And, oh, yeah. Whenever I got all of the mounts from all of the trials in A Realm Reborn, and then, like, everybody was riding around in a circle with all of the mounts. That was badass. I feel like those were some of the, the best moments. And then... Oh, wait. Wasn't there a time... I forgot which character it was. But there was a time somebody dressed their character up like one of the characters. And then they had the character lying down on the ground like they were dead. And I legitimately thought it happened. I was like, oh, fuck. Sir Emmerich. Yes, Sir Emmerich. There it is. Yes. And he's dead. I'm like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? I like this guy. This guy's great. Yeah, and then he was gone. And I actually, like, part of it, like, I was worried that it was going to happen whenever, uh, you know, he got stabbed. I was like, oh, fuck. This is what's going to happen. Have you tried the Realm Reborn Relic? Yeah, I got halfway through it, and I didn't want to do the books. I got lazy. Uh, I, the reason why I got lazy with it is because um, uh, I, I rerolled to Dark Knight and I didn't really care about the axe as much because I wasn't playing Warrior as much. Uh, it wasn't as important to me. The fashion contests with Rich and Zeppel, yeah, and the Crystal Tower. I remember that one too. Yeah, there were a lot of uh, a lot of really good times playing this game, man. Like I, I, I did have a lot of fun, and like thinking back on it, there were many different like little events, man. The starting Heaven's Ward, yeah, exactly. Streaming would be better or worse as a streamer without chat. I think that it depends on the kind of stream you do. Like, for example, I couldn't imagine, like, my stream without chat, but I also couldn't imagine Dr. Disrespect's stream with chat. You see what I'm saying? So I think it depends on which one. Thordan? Yeah, doing Thordan Extreme was pretty crazy. I think my favorite extreme fight that I did... <sighs> I'm trying to think. Like, what was my favorite? It might have been Thordan. Uh, like, I think that my favorite raid that I did in all of Final Fantasy was probably Bahamut. I thought that one was really fucking cool. Like, I was so happy whenever we beat that fight. Like, even doing it was so fun, man. Necromancer attempts? Bro, that shit was so fucking painful, man. Oh, my God. You haven't seen anything? Yeah, I know there's, like, a lot more in the game, man. I like how I express this throw of crippling schizophrenia in such an artistic form. Do you any surprise Final Fantasy and content you in some way to do an official promo? I mean, yeah, these videos are really good. I, I feel like, honestly, Final Fantasy is one of those games that people will play and then come back to, then leave, and then play again, etc. Like, this is just a very common thing that a lot of people do nowadays, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's actually a good thing. So hopefully that continues. Uh, is Bahamut the one where your team died at 1%? No, that was one of the bosses before then. It was like some Chimera or something like that. But yeah, this video is really, really good. And yeah, whenever... I remember whenever I... <laughs> Do you guys remember whenever I interviewed those guys that did the, um... Uh, the fucking... <laughs> the billboard? And then I interviewed them, and they're like, so there's no not safe for work advertised on the billboard. And then it's like, well, is the Discord advertised on the billboard? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, well, are there links to the Discord to not safe for work in the Discord? They're like, well, yeah. I'm like, so the billboard's advertising not safe for work. They're like, well, look, if you want to see it that way, you know, if, if that's the way that you want to look at like, that shit was so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I love that.